in this video, I'm going to introduce you to one of the coolest tool I have found recently, which is called as Olama. Olama enables you to run large language models locally. And when I say locally, it means on any Linux instance or in any of the cloud providers. For Windows, it is not available, but it will be very, very soon. For now, you can install large language models on Linux and any flavor, flavor of Linux and also on Mac OS as we speak now. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can locally install Olama and then play around with a lot of models. They also have a very good GitHub repo, which is um, situated here and I'll drop the link in video description. Plus they have also got an evolving library where they put they are putting all the models they are supporting. At the moment, they are supporting Llama models and then Wizard LM, Falcon, Vicuna, and Orca and a lot of others. And the list is growing every day. I'll be creating a few more uh, videos around it just to show you how it works. And as you can see that this was updated just 19 hours ago. So very, very um, hyperactive project and really good to see that it is evolving pretty rapidly. Now, if you go to their GitHub repo, they also give you the quantized versions and other um, model parameter and their sizes. So you can see that for Llama 2, you only need 4 gig and you can run it very easily. Okay, now let me show you how you can locally install it. I am using Amazon Linux 2 for this demo in AWS, but you can use any Linux instance or Mac OS and in the future also the Windows one. The and the installation is very, very simple. Again, let me show you how. Log into your Linux instance in the terminal and then run this command. This command is going to download the install script and then install the Olama tool at your local desktop or wherever you're installing it. You can see that how easy it is. This is good. Now let me run the Llama 2 instance, Llama 2 LLM, sorry, with this Olama tool. Also, I'm using AWS G4DN2X large instance, which has um, one GPU. So it is, it has also detected it. And I would highly encourage you to use it on the GPU enabled machines. Now, in order to run Llama 2 model locally with this Olama, all you need to do is to do this Olama run Llama 2. It is going to download the Llama 2 model and then it will uh, provide you the prompt. So let me run it. It is pulling the manifest file and then it is downloading it and you can see that it is just under 4GP. So let's wait for it to finish. Should it take too long? And you can check the sizes of the model you are going to use with Olama on their GitHub repo, which is mentioned here or also from their library. Going back to our Linux instance, let's wait for it to finish. It is almost done. It has pulled it, now it is just downloading all of the relevant config files. And then download is finished. It is verifying the checksum. And then when it's done verifying the checksum, it will give us the prompt to use this model. So there you go, it was successful. And now we can ask and talk with this LLM, which is Llama 2. Let me ask it, what is the capital of Australia? Press enter, there you go. And it has given us some of the background too. Let me ask it a coding question. Set me a Python code to give us a list of numbers. Enter. There you go. Nice. Let me do some different contextual question. You are an experienced Classroom renovator, please give me step by step and do renovate our classroom and also put in cost of each step in sorry, let me in 
Australian dollar. Let's see what it does now. And you can see the uh, speed of this. This is amazing. Now it is producing all the steps with cost with each step. Very, very nice. Very impressed by this O Llama. Because in my previous videos, I have also installed this Llama 2 7 billion model in locally and it was not as fast as this i can tell you but still llama 2 rocks really i mean i think this is one of the best models out there and if you want to get out of this prompt you can um, just press ctrl c if you want more help around it just flash question mark and it will give you some of the helpful commands which you can use and for exit Maybe let's do the buy thing. So you you can exit either with slash exit or with slash buy. And you can rerun it by simply typing your um sorry. Oh Lama run Lama 2. And it won't download it again. It will just bring the prompt for you to check it out. And then you can show the license. Okay, so it has given me an error this time. No worries. Let me try again. It'll show. Okay. Show license. Am I using the correct spelling of license? Hopefully, yes. That is interesting. Let me try out any other command to see if it works. Let's see, show system. Nope. And what about if I ask it something? What is the capital of Australia? Okay, this time it works. Maybe I'm not using that command right. Show system. Okay, so we shouldn't be using uh, slash with it, show license. Okay. Why oh, is like this? Interesting. So this is how you interact with it. Still, I believe um, a project in making, but very, very impressive. If I take you to its GitHub repo, you can see that there are a lot of other things you can do with it. For example, you can customize a prompt. You can create a model uh, file. For instance, for Llama 2, you can customize a prompt like this. Once you have customized it, you can recreate a model out of it, and then it will act as a Mario. And as in, uh, in this example, and then there are a lot of other things. You can pull a model, um, then you can remove the model which we just downloaded and then we can copy the model and a lot of other things which you can do if you don't want to do it in the interactive form you can also serve it when you want to serve when you don't want to run the desktop application and then if you want to build it from scratch you can uh, do so too and there is also a rest api which you can use if you're interested and this i haven't tested it yet but i think in the following videos i'm going to test few of these integrations because especially with this one llama index this looks really cool anyway um, i hope that you enjoyed it if you already are using it please share your experience and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you